right now the message is mindfulness. And that is where we take some time this morning before we rush out into the world and just center ourselves and provide a balance because there's so much chaos and confusion out there. If we are not balanced here mentally, physically, and emotionally before we go out into the world, chaos awaits you, I promise. And you don't need me to tell you that. You experience it every day. So that's why we're just going to do a brief breathing exercise this morning to help you, to assist you in the process of becoming your best self this morning okay so we sit up straight in our chair feet flat on the floor nothing in your hands nothing in your lap and just open up the body open up the mind and take a stretch oh yes like a cat in the morning you see how they stretch that's how we need to stretch wake the body up wake the limbs up oh that feels good and see because i'm sitting in a high back chair i always like the choice like this grab the back of the chair and just hold that and breathe in and breathe out. Oh, yes, that feels good. Turn around and grab the other side. <clears throat> breathe in. Through the nose. And breathe out. You hear me breathing in and breathing out. That's all that mucus from that uh, dairy. Dairy is a no-no when you're lactose intolerant. And I'm paying for it. Okay. I digress, but, you know. Every now and then, girl, just got to have some ice cream. What did I say? And I'm paying for it. Anywho, um, close your eyes. You should not be looking at me, but the inside of your eyelids. And we're going to simply breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. So begin that process. Inhale to the count of five. Hold it. Hold it. And exhale through the nose. Continue breathing. <laughs> giving thanks for the power of the breath because someone somewhere has a trachea in their throat they have congestion they may have all kinds of breathing illnesses so that's why it's important that we learn how to breathe as we breathe in hold it and breathe out. Now let's take that breath. See it in our mind's eye. And as we breathe in, bring that breath to the top of the forehead. As we breathe in, hold it. And blow out even longer through the nose, bringing the energy down from the top of the head to the forehead, to the face, to the chin, and to the shoulders. Yes. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Once more, inhale deeply. And exhale. Do you feel that immediately? Do you feel that immediately from here to here? Oh, let's do that again. Once more, inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale. If you're breathing deep enough, you should feel a wonderful sensation from the top of your head to your neck to your shoulders. And I want you to take these fingers, these two fingers and this thumb, grab the meat in the back of your neck. And that's the vagus nerve. Squeeze on that nagus, vagus nerve. Just massage it all up and down your spine. Oh, yes, that feels good. And if you feel like it, do take these fingers and massage the back of your shoulders because that's where we hold all that tension. Let's breathe in. Hold it. Massage. You can knead if you need to like this. And just knead that and exhale. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's do that some more. Inhale deeply. Hold it while you're kneading. And exhale. Yes. Mm, that feels good. Inhale. Once more. Inhale. Hold it. And as you exhale, feel the breath flowing throughout the upper part of the body, the chest and the shoulders and the sides and the back as we give thanks. And as we continue to breathe in and breathe out, we give thanks for the power of the breath because someone somewhere is not as lucky and as fortunate as we are as we give thanks for the power of the breath. As we continue to breathe in, hold it. And breathe out, sending love, light, and energy down through the stomach, the solar plexus, and the sides, and the hips, and the buttocks as we breathe in. 
hold it. And as we breathe out, sending more love, light, and energy down through the thighs, rub those thighs, rub those knees, because that, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, is what keeps us active, keeps us mobile. If you cannot move those hips and legs, then rub them and tell them how much you appreciate them for them moving throughout the day effortlessly. All you do is think, walk, and you walk. How cool is that? As we breathe in, giving thanks for the power of the energy from the breath that goes down through the thighs and the knees and the legs and the arches and the heels as we breathe in. Doesn't matter if we're breathing together or not, as long as you are breathing, taking long, deep breaths because you're sending love, light, and extended energy through all the parts of your body as you continue to breathe in. Hold it. And as you breathe out, sending more love, light, and energy down through the legs, the ankles, the arches, the insteps, and the toes. Yes, wiggle those toes, sending that love, light, and energy back up through the feet as we breathe in. Bringing more love, light, and energy up through the ankles and the arches and the legs and the knees and the hips and the thighs and the buttocks and the back as we breathe in, continue breathing. Doesn't matter if we're not breathing together as long as we're breathing, that's what's important as we breathe in. We give thanks for the higher learning hip roll. Why are you doing that, Zelda? Because sitting is the new smoking. And if you sit all day, your joints are not moving. That's why we breathe in. Get a little interaction going on on the inside. And we hold it and we breathe out. All through the nose. As breathe in once more. Bringing that breath up through the solar plexus and the sides and the chest and the back of the neck as we massage those shoulders again, sending them love, light, and energy. You're not watching me. You're loving your body and breathing because this is what will help you in times of chaos and confusion as you raise those hands above your hands and stretch as we breathe in. And as we breathe out. As we take one more long, last deep, inhale deeply. Bringing that breath back up through the shoulders and the head and the forehead and back up to the top of the head as we give thanks for the power of the breath because someone somewhere is not as unfortunate, not as fortunate as we are because we can breathe in, hold it, and breathe out. What a blessing. What a blessing, what a blessing. As we begin the process, let's take one more long, last deep inhale deeply. Hold it. And as you exhale, tilt the head forward, chin to chest, and slowly rotate the head to the right. That's why you're sitting up straight, so we won't have a problem with the back as you slowly rotate that head around to the back. Slow down, you're moving too fast. Slowly rotating to the right and back around to the front. Chin to chest, head up, inhale deeply. Hold it. Bring the head back down, chin to chest, and rotate that head to the right. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, yes, feel that stretch. Right now, the message is mindfulness, and that is where we take some time this morning before we rush out into the world and just center ourselves and provide a balance because there's so much chaos and confusion out there. If we are not balanced here mentally, physically, and emotionally before we go out into the world, chaos awaits you, I promise. And you don't need me to tell you that. You experience it every day. So that's why we're just going to do a brief breathing exercise this morning to help you, to assist you in the process of becoming your best self this morning, okay? So we sit up straight in our chair, feet flat on the floor, nothing in your hands, nothing in your lap, and just open up the body, open up the mind, and take a stretch. Oh, yes, like a cat in the morning. You see how they stretch? That's how we need to stretch. Wake the body up, wake the limbs up. Oh, that feels good. And see, because I'm sitting in a high back chair, I always like to twist like this, grab the back of the chair. And just hold that and breathe in and breathe out. 
Oh, yes, that feels good. Turn around and grab the other side. <clears throat> Breathe in. Through the nose. And breathe out. You hear me breathing in and breathing out. That's all that mucus from that uh, dairy. Dairy is a no-no when you're lactose intolerant. And I'm paying for it. Okay. I digress. But, you know, every now and then, girl, just got to have some ice cream. What did I say? And I'm paying for it. Anywho, um, close your eyes. You should not be looking at me, but the inside of your eyelids. And we're going to simply breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. So begin that process. Inhale to the count of five. Hold it. Hold it. And exhale through the nose. Continue breathing. <clears throat> Giving thanks for the power of the breath because someone somewhere has a trachea in their throat. They have congestion. They may have all kinds of breathing illnesses so that's why it's important that we learn how to breathe as we breathe in hold it and breathe out now let's take that breath see it in our mind's eye and as we breathe in bring that breath to the top of the forehead as we breathe in hold it and blow out even longer through the nose, bringing the energy down from the top of the head to the forehead, to the face, to the chin, and to the shoulders. Yes. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Once more. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Do you feel that immediately? Do you feel that immediately from here to here? Oh, let's do that again. Once more. Inhale deeply. Hold it and exhale. If you're breathing deep enough, you should feel a wonderful sensation from the top of your head to your neck, to your shoulders. And I want you to take these fingers, these two fingers and this thumb, grab the meat in the back of your neck. And that's the vagus nerve. Squeeze on that vagus, vagus nerve. Just massage it all up and down your spine. Oh, yes, that feels good. And if you feel like it, do Take these fingers and massage the back of your shoulders because that's where we hold all that tension. Let's breathe in. Hold it. Massage. You can knead if you need to like this and just knead that and exhale. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's do that some more. Inhale deeply. Hold it while you're kneading and exhale. Mm, that feel good. Inhale once more. Inhale. Hold it. And as you exhale, feel the breath flowing throughout the upper part of the body, the chest and the shoulders and the sides and the back. As we give thanks and as we continue to breathe in and breathe out, we give thanks for the power of the breath. Because someone somewhere is not as lucky and as fortunate as we are as we give thanks the power of the breath as we continue to breathe in hold it and breathe out sending love light and energy down through the stomach the solar plexus and the sides and the hips and the buttocks as we breathe in hold it and as we breathe out, sending more love, light, and energy down through the thighs, rub those thighs, rub those knees, because that, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, is what keeps us active, keeps us mobile. If you cannot move those hips and legs, then rub them and tell them how much you appreciate them for them moving throughout the day effortlessly. All you do is think, walk and you walk. How cool is that? As we breathe in, giving thanks for the power of the energy from the breath that goes down through the thighs and the knees and the legs and the arches and the heels as we breathe in. Doesn't matter if we're breathing together or not, as long as you are breathing, taking long, deep breaths because you're sending love, light, and extended energy through all the parts of your body as you continue to breathe in. Hold it. 
And as you breathe out, sending more love, light, and energy down through the legs, the ankles, the arches, the insteps, and the toes. Yes, wiggle those toes, sending that love, light, and energy back up through the feet as we breathe in. Bringing more love, light, and energy up through the ankles and the arches and the legs and the knees and the hips and the thighs and the buttocks and the back as we breathe in continue breathing. Doesn't matter if we're not breathing together as long as we're breathing. That's what's important as we breathe in. We give thanks for the higher learning hip roll. Why are you doing that, Zelda? Because sitting is the new smoking. And if you sit all day, your joints are not moving. That's why we breathe in. Get a little interaction going on on the inside. And we hold it and we breathe out. All through the nose. Let's breathe in once more. Bringing that breath up through the solar plexus and the sides and the chest and the back of the neck as we massage those shoulders again, sending them love, light, and energy. You're not watching me. You're loving your body and breathing because this is what will help you in times of chaos and confusion as you raise those hands above your hands and stretch as we breathe in. And as we breathe. As we take one more long, last deep, inhale deeply. Bringing that breath back up through the shoulders and the head and the forehead and back up to the top of the head as we give thanks for the power of the breath because someone somewhere is not as unfortunate, not as fortunate as we are because we can breathe in, hold it, and breathe out. What a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing. As we begin the process, let's take one more long, last deep inhale deeply. Hold it. And as you exhale, tilt the head forward, chin to chest, and slowly rotate the head to the right. That's why you're sitting up straight, so we won't have a problem with the back. As you slowly rotate that head around to the back, slow down, you're moving too fast. Slowly rotating to the right and back around to the front. Chin to chest, head up, inhale deeply. Hold it. Bring the head back down, chin to chest, and rotate that head to the right. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, yes, feel that stretch. Uh, And slowly rotating the head to the left and back around to the front. Head up, inhale deeply. And exhale. Oh, yes, that feels good, doesn't it? Once more, let's do it again. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, turn your head to the left as far as you can, feeling the stretch in the right of the neck. Mm, Yeah, that feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. And as you exhale, bring the head back front and center. Inhale once more. Hold it. And as you exhale, bring the head to the right as far as you possibly can. Feeling the stretch in the left side of the neck. Ah, yes, that feels good. Mm-hmm. Bringing the head back forward. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Oh, what a wonderful way to start the day. Woke the body up, gave it directions that it's going to be a wonderful day, and it will. And when chaos and confusion comes your way, you simply do what? You inhale deeply. And exhale through your mouth. But why through the mouth, Zelda? Because if you got a little funk on your breath, a little stank, like some garlic, onion, forgot to brush your teeth. I promise you, whoever you are in front of, they will back up. They'll be talking to you like this. Oh, girl, yeah. Mm, Really, Zelda? Oh, okay, yeah, girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trust me. No, don't trust me. Try it. How about that? As you inhale deeply. And exhale. Your body is loving you right now. And you're wondering why you're smiling? Because you have just activated the happiness gene. And to take it just a step further, 
Let's tell the universe what we want this morning by repeating two of the most powerful words on planet Earth. And that is, I, I know you know, I am. So whatever you put after these words, be very mindful of the words that you use because those are the types of experiences that you will have when you say those words, I am. So right now, for the purpose of practice, we're going to say, I am happy. Yes. Inhale deeply. I am happy. Even if you're not happy, just say it because you're sending sin signals of love and light and positive energy throughout the body. And eventually the body will believe it because the mind directs the body to what to do. How simple is that? So say it, even if you don't feel it. I am happy. And you got to see it like you mean it, like you just won the lottery. You can't say, I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm whole and clean. No, you're not. I am happy. Inhale deeply. I am healthy. Inhale deeply. I am whole and complete. Zelda, why am I talking out loud? Because words have wings. And you want those words that have wings to fly and circumvent your your entire area, your area of where you are living and breathing in the space. That is the kind of armor that you want around you. The Bible talks about putting on your coat of armor. Well, that's what this is when you do that in the morning. You brace yourself. You protect yourself for the day. I am happy. I am healthy. I am whole and complete just as I am. Doesn't that feel good resonate in your mind? Sure it does. Do it again. Breathe in. Inhale deeply. Hold it. And as you exhale, I am happy. Don't sing Zelda. Hush. I am healthy. Did I feel you shut up? I am whole and complete. Don't worry. I talk to myself sometimes. And it feels good. Why do you talk to yourself, Zelda? Because I have all the answers as it relates to me and my experience anyway. So when you see people on the street talking to themselves, don't call them crazy. Just have a conversation with themselves. Some have a little more conversations than others. And let us not be judgmental. Our responsibility is to our own community. And that community is the community within. That is the community of the brain. Let's inhale together. Inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale as we give thanks for the power of the breath, the power of the brain to send the signals through the breath to the rest of the body. Place your hand on your heart and on your forehead at the same time. I am, as we breathe in, I am the protector of this vessel and I give thanks that I use my breath to protect myself whenever harm appears to be in my direction. Inhale deeply. I am happy, healthy, whole and complete. And remember that when you are experiencing a challenge, all you have to do is breathe in and breathe out and take it a step further. Talk to the parts of your body. Give thanks for the brain. I give thanks for the brain as I inhale deeply. I give thanks for the brain, for my heart that is beating so that I can have this conversation with you this morning. I give thanks for my liver, my lungs, my spleen, my spine, all of that is working on our behalf and we don't even know it as we do the higher learning hip roll this morning as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, how about that? And there are more experiences like that on my YouTube channel, along with um, uh, testimonials of experiences people have had with the breathing exercise. And if you find yourself in a situation where you are being challenged, you simply breathe in and you simply breathe out. And I ask that you share this with someone, each one, teach one. Why? Because if I am upset, 
and you come and have a conversation with me, I'm going to give you all of that negative energy. But if you had took five minutes that morning, put on the armor, put on your shield, sent out all the happiness signals, if you have all of that done already, it will just bounce off like walls. And you just simply look at them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, okay. Be not judgmental, but just be aware and share that with them while I share this commercial with you. So stay close and I'll be right back. I promise. And I can't hear it. Can you hear it? Nope, I can't hear it either. So don't worry about it. But it's playing back there in the background. As we breathe in, I'm talking to myself now. And as we breathe out, and as we are breathing in, as we continue to breathe out, I am going to share with you the female solution promo that I am pretty sure you will enjoy. Ah, uh, and slowly rotating the head.
hlntvshow at gmail.com.